from Traverse Bay Crochet and today we're going to be making the sunny day dishcloth. Um, for this project you'll need some yellow cotton yarn. I have lily sugar and cream yarn in yellow. Um, you'll also need a size H 5 millimeter crochet hook and just a blunt needle to weave in your ends. So to begin we're going to make our magic circle. So take your yarn Put it around your fingers so it crosses in the front and then I go underneath the first one grab that second right there pull it up chain two and now we're going to double crochet 14 into the circle My son is listening to a um, little baby bum in the background if you hear that, so <laughs> sorry if you, that's just a little background noise. <laughs> Now we have 14 double crochets in our circle. We're going to pull our circle to close it and just slip stitch into our first stitch there. And now we're going to chain two and we're going to front post double crochet into each of our stitches around. So we're going to go right do that with our first one there. So continue to do this front post double crochet into each of the double crochets we just made. Okay, so now we double uh, front post double crocheted into each of our stitches around. And now we're at the beginning. We're not going to slip stitch to close here. This is where we start to work in the round. And you can place a stitch marker here if you'd like to keep track of your rows. Um, I'm just going to use a earring. <laughs> Whenever I lose the match or one breaks, I use an earring like that for my stitch marker. Um, so we're going to go ahead and continue to double crochet into the first stitch and we're going to front post double crochet around the next a regular double crochet and then a front post double crochet a regular double crochet and a front post double crochet and we're going to just continue in this way all the way around our circle. Now we've made it all the way around. For the next uh, round, we're going to double crochet two And then we're going to front post double crochet around the next and double crochet into the next two stitches and front post double crochet around the next. So we're actually increasing between our front post double crochets. So this will allow us to make the dishcloth bigger without rolling or it'll be able to expand but also lay flat so two regular double crochets between your posts and front post double 
crochet around the next, double crochet, double crochet, and front post double crochet around the next. So just continue in this way all the way around your circle. So now we've made it around our row and this time we're going to double crochet three double crochets between our posts. So three regular double crochets and then a front post double crochet. Three regular double crochets. And a front post double crochet. So just continue in this way all the way around this row with three regular double crochets and a front post double crochet. Okay, so for this next row, we're going to double crochet the next four stitches. And front post double crochet around the next. And double crochet the next four stitches. And front post double crochet around the next. And just continue in this way all the way around this row. For the next row we're going to double crochet the next five stitches. And then we're going to front post double crochet around the next. And double crochet the next five stitches. And front post double crochet around the next. And so we're just going to keep continuing on in this way all the way around with five double crochets, front post double crochet, five double crochets, front post double crochet. So now we're going to begin making our shells. And to do that we're going to skip our first two stitches and then we're going to double crochet five into the next stitch. Chain one, we're going to skip the next four stitches, and then we're going to do five double crochet into the next stitch. Then we're going to chain one, skip the next four stitches, and double crochet five into the next. Chain one. And we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around to get this pretty shell stitch edging. So now that you've made your pretty shell edging, uh, when you come to close your last um, round here, we're going to skip the last four stitches 
And then we're just going to slip stitch into the second stitch of that first shell that we made. So we're going to just slip stitch into that. And then we're going to fasten off and weave in our end. And then you will have your pretty sunny day dishcloth. The written directions will be available on my website. I'll post the link to that in the description as well as the link for the matching coasters. And please like and subscribe to my channel for more free patterns. And have a great day.